guys, welcome to this channel or welcome back to this channel if you're already subscribed. My name is Connie and for anybody that's not already subscribed to my channel, um, this is the very first video you're clicking on. Uh, let's see, a quick rundown. I moved from Texas to Mexico. I am living my life here. This is just where I, this is just where I, you know, like share my adventures with you guys. And in this specific video, I went to Cerro de la Silla. So in Monterrey, Monterrey, come on now, in Monterrey we actually have a couple of different cerros um, which is more like the, uh, what is it called? Recreational, como actividades recreativas. Mm. You know how it is when you're Regio Montana. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, so yeah. In this video, I climbed Cerro de la Silla. I wish I could have gotten a lot of more footage. However, you know, like you're kind of hiking, out of breath. It's kind of the same views. So I'm just gonna go ahead and be like narrating a little bit of what's going on in some in some certain parts um, that I like that have no explanation. So what are we doing today? Today we are going up the Cerro. And uh, I'm really excited, except it took me like freaking forever to find my way here. And then not only that, I got like lost 50 times on low on gas, but I finally made it through. Apparently, you just have to, you know, like, it's, yeah, you just come in through a little, little neighborhood and then you just make your way up. Like, that's, that's it. <laughs> It's just that if you put it in the map, it takes you to another neighborhood. That is not it. Um, but yeah, I'm all geared up. <laughs> Look at that. Well, I'm in my Crocs right now, but I have hiking boots. I'll put on the hiking boots when I think it's necessary. Also, I brought two water bottles and uh, they're heavy. So um, my back is hurting. This is not my first hike. I'm actually very professional. If any of you guys follow me on my Instagram, you know that I already hiked chipping gear, which is like beginners. But I took the long route, so this should be a piece of cake. Updates coming soon. So to start off with, I got there, and I didn't really know what the entrance was like, so I started following um, two people, right? Like, they were together. It was a boy and a girl, and I thought, they look like they know what they're doing, so I'll follow them. So we get to a fork, and I'm right behind them, and they stop and they like look at me and they're like do you know how to get to the entrance and I was like I'm following you guys and I'm like I'm following you <laughs> so um, I was like it's fine so I stop a lady on the road and I was like ma'am uh, sabe como llegar a la entrada to el cerro do you know how to get to the entrance she's like mm, yeah you're about a block off but just get in my car and I can take you <laughs> actually stuck with the the two people that um, I stuck with two people that I met and it was actually pretty cool uh, it was a girl her name was Brisa and a boy his name was Danny they were brothers um, he was 27 she was 18 so my age so yeah it was super cool we hiked together we decided to keep going we wanted to get all the way to the top <laughs> when we finally were like getting tired because it's about five to six kilometers going up five to six kilometers going down so in total you do about 10 to 11 um, so on the way up like it was getting a little bit harder <laughs> Brisa was getting a little bit tired 
so is her brother. Um, so we did start slowing our pace down a little bit to start taking breaks and things like that. When we were about to get to the top, they decided to like, like go a little bit slower. So I was like, okay, sure. I'm gonna go ahead and meet you guys at the top. We're almost at the top, guys. <laughs> we are almost at the top. They just have to just go through here. It has been a lovely adventure. Okay. Almost there, almost there. Almost there. Wait. <laughs> so I got to the top and I actually met a group of like more people. They were super nice. Uh, they like took pictures of me and it was super funny because I I sound like a foreigner when I speak Spanish and I sometimes look like a foreigner too. So then they were like, oh, de donde eres? And I was like, oh, soy de Texas. And they're like, oh, okay. And then they're like, do you want us to take a picture of you? And I was like, yeah. And so they were like, look, look, she's about to whip out the iPhone. She's about to whip out the iPhone. And I did. I whipped out the iPhone. <laughs> and they were like, eh, hey, the iPhone. And then, so I started taking pictures of all of them. Like, all of them. I took all their pictures. And, you know, they just, like, we had a good conversation. Um, got to know a little bit of them. We actually took a group picture that they, they were like, oh, come on, take a group picture with us. So, like, I wanted to cry for real. When I decided that maybe Danny and Brisa had made it to the top, we made our way down with the, the new group, um, which is so nice. Uh, they're like, I got all their contacts, so like they were like, oh yeah, whenever you wanna, like whenever you go out, like tell us and we'll come with you, or if we go, we'll tell you so you can like hang with us. And I was like, down, down. Oh, on the way back, um, like going down right away, I found Brisa and Danny, and then they were like, I was like, hey guys, look, <laughs> I met these people. And I was like, look, those are the people that I had met earlier. <laughs> Say hi to each other. It was super cute. And um, so I, they left the group, and I went back down with Danny and Brisa. Um, on the way down, Brisa's like legs were out, like she, we were out. Um, but it was such a like, I don't know, I enjoy doing that kind of activities. I enjoy going alone to those kind of activities because I get to meet people. In fact, I'm actually right now like in kind of in a rush doing this because I am about to go to another one day mini trip to Real de Catorce. So um, hopefully that'll be like next week's video. And yeah, I'm, I'm sorry this wasn't too long of a, of a vlog, but sometimes I, I, I try my best to capture like the important moments and I'm sorry, I can't, like, I have, I have to be more consistent with my uploading, I know. I promise I'm gonna work on it. Um, I, you guys also have a lot of questions. I would love to do a Q&A video specifically for those questions. A sit-down video is much easier to upload than, you know, like, me doing something. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and put them down in the comment section and I think I can make a video out of all the questions that you guys might have. Um, for those of you guys that follow me on Instagram, you can also send me your questions through Instagram. Uh, and you know guys, you know, I hope she doesn't mind me saying this, I actually have a subscriber that like I kind of like saw her way from where she was like, I think I want to move to Monterrey and I like, you know, she, cool, resolved any doubts that she might have. She actually moved here and she's way on, well on her way to becoming a working woman. So, ah, good job, Nat. Happy for you. <laughs> well, hear from you guys soon, hopefully in my next video or the video after that one, so I can do the Q&A. Yes, I love you guys so much. How did this video reach 10 minutes? Oh my God.